What's going on, guys? Today on this Shoki Quickie, we're going to take a look at another Star Wars Black Series figure, and it is the Grand Moff Tarkin figure. Now, originally, I thought this was an exclusive, but apparently, it's actually not. I did just pick this thing up at Walmart a couple months ago. I actually got it on sale when Walmart was selling everything for like $17.98 or whatever, something random number. Uh, so it was a little bit cheaper than the standard one. And as you can see, it is a little bit beat up. That particular Walmart uh, didn't really take care of their stock that well, if I'm honest. And uh, corners are beat up. But, you know, I'm not a box collector, so it doesn't really matter. I hold on to the boxes for storage sake, but uh, for the most part, I don't really care. So you get Tarkin in there in all his glory along with his interrogation droid yeah really really nice drawing right there grand moff tarkin yay of course h4 plus i'm right in the middle of that and by the way this thing is crushed a little bit but i don't know if that was walmart's fault or the way i've had it in box over here with everything else it's a little squished but it is what it is it's number 63 in the line pretty cool come to the back you have grand moff tarkin Ambitious, ruthless proponent of military power, Wilhuff Tarkin became a favorite of Emperor Palpatine and rose rapidly through the Imperial ranks. That's true. Speaking of which, I would love to have a Palpatine on his little throne in the Death Star. That'd be really, really cool. But let's go ahead and get this dude out of here. And I believe that technically, uh, Moff, Grand Moff, is actually his title, not obviously not his name. So let's go. All right, guys. So here we have Grand Moff Tarkin out here and looking pretty serious he always had a ridiculous look on his face so very nice head sculpt why do i always put the camera down just a hair too low uh very very nice uh head sculpt and i, I feel like crap i cannot remember the name of the actor off the top of my head but it'll be here on the screen uh i think his hair should have been a little bit lighter or maybe just some streaks of white or uh, some silver grayish color because he was a little bit dark or a little bit older than this I believe but the sculpt is nice the eyes are actually painted decently nice sunken look there decent shadow his lips are actually painted just enough so they don't disappear that's actually very cool the neck is painted right there because probably molded in the gray color if I had to guess um, he does have his uh, gum gum packet there which in some cases I believe is actually what those were and his pins because he needs four pins Sometimes the decorations on these things never made any sense. There's just ever so slight weathering, I think, or it could just be the way the textures are. Although, you can see the differences between plastic. So the softer plastic actually has less reflection. I would dig that a little bit better than the way this has kind of a uh, shinier look to it. I think it looks better, makes it look more like clothes. His belt is painted uh, silver right there. I believe that's all molded in. Yep, so even though it's kind of off-center, that's just how it's going to be. Though you probably never knew that Tarkin was a cowboy. Uh, articulation, ball joint mounted head, disc and shoulders, though a little bit limited because of that. Elbow rotation, 90 degree elbow bend, wrist swivel and joint there. Though he has holding hands and has nothing to hold, that hand is in fact a trigger hand. Uh, he has no gun. In fact, he never used a gun, so why would he have that? Soft skirt here for the bottom of his uh, kind of tunic. Uh, yep, T-mounted ball joints, and knocked the droid over. Stay. Uh, big puffy pants. Got the puffy pants, although the way that pegs in there, it looks so bad. It just looks really, really bad, in my opinion. Double-jointed knee, although it's very limited due to the sculpt, so a double-jointed knee only gets you 90 degrees. And it didn't get to the legs yet, but we got super glossy high knee boots going on here with the wrinkles and everything molded in looks pretty good standard feet as usual and he does have issues standing unless you can get the legs lined up properly but considering who Tarkin was he's pretty good he's like oh, I'm gonna run this way no he just needs to be sitting there but I think he does need to look a little bit older and have some of the wrinkles in the forehead probably a little bit better so it's, to me it's a slightly younger Tarkin now, we do get his only accessory. Get the little interrogation droid, or drone, whatever you want to call it. It's just a big ball of death and torture. And actually, it, it almost looks like it's a small version of the Death Star, including with this. So how funny would that be? You got black paint, silver paint, red paint all over this thing. Uh, as far as I know, none of the arms or anything move. I'm being careful because they're all soft plastic. 
So they are what they are. It looks pretty cool. It does come on this nice clear stand, although if you get it off just a little bit, it will topple over as we've already seen. But if I move my hand away, hey look, it's just floating. Gotta love that. You got the exposure turned up just enough. So it's pretty cool. I just need to get a uh, episode four Leia to go with it. I assume it can come off of that ball joint. I just don't want to push it, literally. So now we need some comparisons. So let's bring him in. Good old Vader. Probably spent the most amount of time with. Of course, Vader's going to be significantly taller than him, except for the fact he's standing so spread out. There we go. He's a much taller looking Vader. Like I said, I need to get a normal Vader, not just the uh, purple headed Vader. Stay. And we can bring in another episode four person. Henry Force Ghost. It's an older gentleman, as he were. And Han Solo. So he's just a, probably just a smidge taller than Han Solo, so it's pretty good. He does have kind of a bulky body as well, but maybe that's just the uniform. That's my first kind of Imperial dude who isn't Vader, so it is what it is. Maybe it's time for your interrogation, Tarkin. <laughs> uh, Lay on the throne is just going to become my favorite thing. <laughs> if you haven't seen it on my Facebook page, go check it out. Uh, actually, no, that was on a Plastic Cannibals page. Either way. But the uh, Tarkin figure is pretty cool. You kind of need him if you're going to have all of the Imperial baddies. And he's one of them. There's a few more that I probably need to get that have come out fairly soon or fairly recently. We'll see what happens. Uh, I like catching them on sale, if I'm totally honest. And a lot of people were jumping on Tarkin as soon as he came out, but you should have known he was going to be a peg warmer at some point. So it is what it is. If you need to go ahead and beef up your substantial Death Star crew and totally get you one of these guys like I said catch it on sale if you can but guys if you like this video go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up a big old red thumbs up and of course uh, hit that subscribe button down there if you have not speaking of subscribe buttons give you a, get you a Shoki shirt even the subscribe button shirt <laughs> of course all double October shirts and everything are still available they're not going anywhere and of course if you want to check out the Patreon help out the channel just for like five bucks a month. Maybe I'll even add a $1 a month, just very basic uh, support, just so for some people make it a little bit easier. We'll see what happens. But guys, that's it for this Star Wars Black Series review. And remember, as always, keep on building.